Hey, this is Russ. You know, one of the most common questions I get either through email or from comments in my videos is, should I get a CPM machine and what does that thing really do? <laughs> and uh, another question would be, um, what is the difference between the jazz units that you have and the CPM machine? So I'm going to try to address that here since so many people have asked that same question to me. Let me see if I can address it in a video. This way, if they ask it again, I can just refer them to the video, <laughs> making my life a little easier, right? Um, I had a CPM machine from actually the day after the surgery. I had my surgery September 19th. Uh, 2019 and um, the day after the surgery on for about three months I had it okay I had the jazz unit um, December and January of uh, well 20 2019 2020 so two months okay and um, and these are returned back to the places that they were rented from uh, because the insurance company had paid for it and so you know if they're not gonna pay for it I had to return it back so uh, CPM stands for continuous passive motion, all right? And the key word here is passive, all right? And I found that a lot of the therapists don't really like the CPM machine. And the reason is because you're not really working yourself. You're letting the machine kind of move you around, okay? Now, another question they asked me is, is this uh, as good as the X10? Now, you may have heard of a machine called an X10. I had a viewer who actually had rented the X10 and he said it really did help him a lot. And watching uh, the video he sent to me, um, watching him on it, I could see why that helps, all right? So the X10 is actually pretty good, yeah. But the X10 is gonna cost you thousands of dollars <laughs> to rent it. So unless you wanna pay that kind of money or have the ability to pay that kind of money for the rental, um, the X10 is probably out of the reach for most patients quite frankly. So uh, so is the jazz unit even better, right? Well, the jazz unit is actually less expensive to rent and it, it, it doesn't you know, move you. The X10 machine actually moves you. you know, if you don't know what an X10 machine is too, just, just type it into YouTube. You'll see um, various videos about it. So it's a machine that actually moves you back and forth. It's kind of like what a CPM moves you back and forth, but better, all right? And the Jazz is, is, is really, I don't like to use the word brace, but it's basically a design to help push you when your physical therapist isn't there, okay? Because you can turn the knob and, and make it tighter and tighter and tighter for, for your flexion, I mean. Um, so that um, it's like somebody pushing you, okay? So it, it, it helps in that sense. And you can uh, convert it to the extension mode and it's gonna push downwards on you too. So I still have a jazz unit for my extension and a second jazz unit for my flexion. Although uh, one unit could do both, uh, I was lucky enough that uh, Joint Active Systems actually custom designed some for me for flexion and a custom designed one for extension. That's why I have two, okay? So let's talk about these things and why this might be good for you or not, all right? Now, the CPM machine is a continuous passive motion machine. It keeps moving, all right? And uh, I'll put a video up here as we're talking, and you can see my knee being moved on it. Now, I think the reason a lot of the therapists don't like it is because you're not really doing anything. <clears throat> you're just resting your leg on top of this thing. You strap yourself in it, okay? And um, it, it kind of moves up and down and, and um, kind of bends your, your knee a little bit for you. Now, when you first get out of surgery, that kind of helps. It does. It, it kind of keeps you moving because you're, you're hurting so much that you really don't want to move it on your own, <laughs> right? So having something there to help move it for you is kind of helpful. Uh, but going forward beyond that, yeah, I think a lot of the therapists don't like it. And I can see why. It's because it is passive, meaning you're not actively doing anything. You're just kind of laying there, all right, letting the machine move your leg, all right? Of course, that's better than doing nothing, but what's better is that you get up and start walking or you get up and start bending on your own, and um, I have some exercise. To, I'll, I'll put a link uh, so that you can see some of the exercises that I've, I've done, okay? So I'll put a link up here for you, and then I'll uh, put it in the description too. But um, it's better that you do it rather than the machine do it. But I, I do understand why we kind of like it initially because, man, it's hard to even just stand up. 
you know, when you first get back home and, and things. Some people can, but most of us can't. And and so the CPM is kind of a, uh, my, my in-home therapist called it a pacifier. <laughs> makes you feel good makes you feel like you're doing something but you're really not doing anything you're you're not putting uh weight on your own leg and pushing down on it that way you're you're just kind of letting it move you around okay but i still feel better than nothing all right but don't get fooled with it that's the thing people get it and then they kind of feel i don't need to do anything else this thing's doing it for me no it doesn't work that way (laughs) you got to put in the time yourself if you want to get better so i would say i would use this for when I'm done exercising on my own and I'm like just taking it easy and just laying down, yeah, jump on the uh, on the CPM machine. Okay. Now, one thing I did is I actually jumped on the CPM machine before getting picked up for physical therapy. Now, I went to two, two different places for physical therapy. The first place, um, I had a medical van that actually picked me up. Yeah, it's kind of cool. So it was uh, attached to the hospital system. So I paid like $10 for a round trip for a medical van to pick me up and then drop me off. And before they would come to pick me up for physical therapy in the morning, I would jump on the CPM machine just to loosen myself up a little bit, all right? Because I was too lazy to get up and and do the actual exercises because I knew that we were going to do that at physical therapy too. So the CPM machine just kind of kept me moving. And I'd jump on there for like an hour before these guys came pick me up, all right? But by the time, of course, I'm at physical therapy, that one hour on the CPM means nothing because, you know, you're stiffened up again. <laughs> and so you're you're still struggling. So anyways, I kept it for three months. That's what I did. And uh, initially, I had it on my sofa. But eventually, my wife helped move it upstairs and we put it on my bed. Okay. Uh, because it, it's... Um, you know, if I'm laying there and I'm not doing anything, then at least this is helping me move. Okay, that's that's how we saw it, right? So she helped move it upstairs. And um, the jazz unit. So what was the jazz unit for? Well, I had two uh, manipulations, as you know. One month after the operation, I had my first uh, uh, manipulation done. And then a month after that, I had a second manipulation done. <laughs> and so right after the second um, uh, manipulation, I, um, I had the jazz unit. And the jazz unit is designed to help push you. It's kind of like what the physical therapist does, you know, where, when the therapist is, is pushing on your leg and trying to help bend your knee and you're screaming in pain. <laughs> That's what the jazz unit does, right? Now, you're not supposed to crank this thing in so tight that you're screaming in pain. They want you to be at, I think they say, a two and three level pain level. So you crank it into that. And over time, you know, you're, you're, you're sitting in that position for like 30 minutes. Over time, your knee kind of gets used to that position. Then you crank a little bit more, and then you give it a little bit more and a little bit more. So you kind of keep adding more additional resistance to it as as much as you can handle at about a two and three um, pain level. Okay, so you're not cranking until you're screaming or anything like that. And you can get out of this too. You just crank it the other way. Okay, just turn it the other way, and it, and it loosens up. Okay, and for extension, same thing. All right. But uh, you convert it so that it goes into the extension mode. So these are two different devices. CPM moves you, whereas the jazz keeps you in one spot, right? In one, uh, one flexion mode or one extension mode. And you just keep adding more to it to, to get more range that way. So they're two totally different devices, okay? Now, people have asked about this thing called the X10, okay? Because you've probably seen ads on YouTube about it. I've never had one. I don't know what it really does, but uh, one of my viewers had rented one, and he sent me a video of him on it. And looking at it, I go, wow, this thing is far better than the CPM machine, <laughs> All right? So now you're thinking, I want an X10 machine, right? That thing's several thousand dollars from what I understand to rent that. So that is not inexpensive at all. So I think it's a kind of out of the reach for many people. But if you have the money and you need the help, uh, they'll deliver that big machine to you and <laughs> and keep you moving, all right? So um, it's it's another option. And I think there's there's tons of other type of devices you can get. For me, uh, the CPM machine is what I had. Uh, the jazz unit is what I have, okay, still, because I'm still working on my extension and my flexion. Um, but um, hopefully that explains a little bit. So when people ask me, should I get one? Here's what I tell them. Get a CPM when you first start out if you need it, okay? But don't rely on it. 
don't think that that's going to be an excuse not to do the exercises, right? Because you got to get up on your leg and start putting your own pressure of your own weight on your leg to get it to go, all right? You can't just rely on this thing moving you back and forth because it doesn't really do that great of a job, quite frankly. It feels good, all right? But it's like, like the first therapist says, it's kind of like a pacifier. It makes you think you're doing something, but you're really not doing a whole lot, okay? And the, um, the jazz unit, yeah, get that if you need it too, all right? But uh, again, both of these things require doctor's approval. So they're going to have to write something. Jazz is not going to just send it to you. You're going to need the doctor's approval sent to jazz. Um, I think the procedure is basically this. You, you get the doctor to write it. Um, your doctor's office typically will submit it to your insurance company. Your insurance company hopefully approves it. Then the insurance company contacts Jazz. Jazz does all their things and figures out what price it is for the insurance, and then they ship it out to you. Okay, But before that happens, they'll send a rep out to actually measure you because these things are kind of customized to your leg and your, your dimensions of your leg and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's more involved. You don't get the Jazz unit right away. All right, I think it took... Um, Took about a week, week and a half, something like that, to get it. So it, it's not an immediate thing that you can get. The CPM machine, I think, once they order it, you can get it because I mean, nothing's customized for that thing. They'll just ship it out to you. Well, actually, they don't ship it. They had a, a rep came by and dropped it off, and then he came by and picked it up. Okay, so whatever company um, that they had, um, you know, had contracted to to rent it from, that company sent someone to drop off and, and pick it up from me. So hopefully this has helped you a little bit, kind of give you an idea of what these things are really designed to do. Look up the X10 yourself. I have no footage or anything to show you because I never had one, but I will tell you it is expensive from what he told me. Uh, I think he said a couple thousand dollars to, to rent that. So uh, I don't know the cost of rental of these other things, so don't ask me, <laughs> right? I have no clue. I, in fact, I asked Jazz once, I said, how much do these things rent for? And they wouldn't even tell me because they said there's, there's different prices uh, based on whether the guy's doing it himself or whether um, insurance is involved. So they have to get a whole insurance thing involved. So there was no real good answer to give me. So they said the best thing really to do is just... Uh, have them contact Jazz directly, and then uh, Jazz will work with your insurance company, try to get the insurance to help pay for it. So uh, leave it to the pros <laughs> to get that thing together for you. Uh, but you, yeah, you still need that doctor's approval. Okay. Actually, when I got my second um, time around, because I, I still have one, you know, I, I told you I did December and January uh, when I had the Jazz unit. Then I got it back in June, and here it is December again. So I've had it again for another six months, still using it, okay? I still needed my doctor's approval for them to send it to me, okay? They didn't just say, hey, you want this back? Let me send it back to you. They still made sure that the doctor was okay and that he knew that I was using it, okay? <laughs> so, um, yeah, it doesn't come to you just because you want it. You have to ask, make sure your, your doctor is approving it, okay? Anyways, I'll put a link uh, below for, for the jazz unit. I think the CPM, just talk to your doctor about that. That's pretty common, so... Um, if you need that or want one of those things, um, they, they can find somebody. There's plenty of companies that, that rent those things out, all right? Jazz comes directly from Joint Active Systems, so I'll put a link to Jazz down there for you. Anyways, if this has been helpful for you, go ahead and hit that like button and um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so because that helps me out, and I will talk to you guys next time.